Hello, hello everyone, this is Kerry Valentine again working on uh, online MBA 580 Executive Leadership. This is the second video in our intro videos to this course. And uh, this time we're going we're gonna to get into a thing called the Writing Across the Curriculum Rubric. Again, look for that book at the top of the, the, uh, the page, the course homepage, which tells you that you're at that start page. First break all the rules when you see that image, you're there. And then scroll on down here to those resources, those introductory resources here that uh, I referred to in the in the first video, and click on this thing, Writing Across the Curriculum Rubric. And when you click on that, you're going to see a document like this on your screen, and it's going to give you uh, some, some specific definitions of uh, what is a superior essay, one that's uh, just merely competent, uh, one that's perhaps just adequate, but uh, is lacking in some way, and uh, some, some that maybe show a developing competence that uh, we need to help you to, uh, to, to make better. But uh, the reason this document is so important here is on all of your written assignments, um, this is how you're going to be graded. Uh, like, for example, here, this says at the, at, on the first one, a six essay. Here, I'm going to try to highlight it. A six essay is superior writing that may have minor flaws. A typical essay in this category here uh, addresses the topic clearly and responds effectively to all aspects of the task, explores the issues thoughtfully and in depth, is coherently organized and developed, supported by apt reasons and well-chosen examples, has an effective fluent style marked by syntactic variety and a clear command of language, is generally free from errors in grammar, usage, and mechanics. Now the point I'm trying to make here is a six essay, which in this case is the best you can get, uh, can still maybe have a flaw here and there. We're not expecting that uh, that everything's going to be perfect. That that uh, that in order for you to get an A, you're going to have to have a, a paper that has absolutely no grammar errors or whatever. Obviously, you want to keep those to a minimum, but uh, but we're really after substance here. And and uh, what the the, the the objective again of the rubric is is to, to get you to where you can see some sort of specific definitions for how we interpret the quality of your writing. And this applies to our article, crit article critiques, our learning development, uh, our leadership development plan that we re refer to that is the uh, per se term assignment, the big assignment that you have to complete. Uh, before the end of the class. And so if you look at this rubric and you compare this with, say, the first grade you've got or the first uh, 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 response of feedback that you received on your article critique or any of your, for your, your, your written assignments as we go along and compare it to this rubric, um, that's probably going to give you a, a really good idea of what you need to do on future assignments or if you need to just keep going the way you're going. Uh, my hope is that uh, everybody will uh, refer to the rubric here at the beginning and they'll just uh, they'll, they'll, they'll scan their written assignments before they submit them against this rubric to see if it is uh, if, if their if their written work is 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 measuring up according to the rubric so uh, that's the objective of this little uh, video the next one is going to get into our first week's assignments and how those things are going to work and I'll see you then